Hello everyone and welcome if you're new and welcome back if you are returning. My name is Lindy and this is Much Love Tarot. Today we're going to be looking at the question, um, what is it that they are not telling you? Uh, I kind of want to take a look at it because, you know, I base these YouTube videos on things that I that a lot of people are asking about in like my TikTok lives. Uh, if you're interested in that, go check it out in my Linktree link down in the box below. You'll find that Linktree link and there you find like my TikTok as well as like all the other stuff. Um, my PayPal donations, my Instagram, my email if you want to book private readings with me. Um, but yeah, I base these questions on like the collective energy that I see coming back a whole lot. Uh, and during the last couple of TikToks, I feel like this energy was kind of coming out. That there was a lot of like moon energy of like hidden things that you weren't quite getting or that they are trying to hide. Uh, so I figured I kind of wanted to do like a general collective energy for y'all. Uh, what is it that they are not telling you um, about how they feel or the whole thing? Anyway um let's just jump in so for pile number one we have this unexpected visitor kind of peeking in pile number two is a sad embrace with card 45 and pile number three you will be the spark i don't think i've ever seen this card come out it's so beautiful. It's like spark with little hearts as well. I love this. Okay, so if you need a little bit more time to meditate or to uh, figure out which pal is for you, then pause the video. And if you already do know it, then I will see you guys in your reading. Hi, pal number one. So if you chose card number 41 with the unexpected visitor, then this is going to be your reading today. So while shuffling the tarot and looking at the card and meditate a little bit, I already got a little bit for some of you i feel like it might be a third party situation or like someone else came into their life that's you know came kind of like peeked in where it was like oh 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 <laughs> um yeah a little bit where they you know might have i don't know like some third party situation thing but i feel like it's only for some of you not all of you uh, but that was kind of what i was getting when i was shuffling uh, but let's just take a look at the tarot, what the tarot has to say for you today. So what is it that this person is hiding or not telling from to pile number one? What are they not telling pile number one? So we have the nine of swords as well as the seven of swords. <laughs> okay, so with the nine of swords, I feel like it is something that weighs heavy on them um it makes them feel conflicted as well for not telling you about it um with that seven of swords i kind of get cheating vibes um it can also be trust issues towards you but like with that like i said with the intro where it kind of feels like a third party situation let's just see what else the terrorists say but for now it's giving me a high them cheating vibe uh, where they're not telling you but it's been like weighing heavy on them and that might be them acting weird or what are they not telling pile number one so we also have the two of pentacles yes so desperate not tra desperately but trying to find balance again in their life trying to get control the king of swords yes i feel like that just like this happened and they kind of regretted it and now feel like heavy about it like they should tell you but they know they will they don't want to mess it up with you trying to find that balance again in their own life trying to figure everything out but that king of swords i feel like that's coming from that nine of swords and trying to be a better person but at the same time the king of swords can be very cold very standoffish very oh, i'm sorry like the neighbors are working on like remodeling so if you had heard <laughs> hear some um sounds it's probably them um so i hope you guys don't hear it a whole lot but let's um focus on this right now with that king of swords like i said it is a very cold energy i feel like they try to 
like the more they try to get that balance in the heavier this weighs on them as well as more of that cold energy comes out where they where you're a bit like what's going on because you don't have no idea that this happened and like you try to be nice to them which make them feel even more guilty and then you trying to talk to them like just be open and honest which also gives them more of like oh i don't know i don't and then makes them very cold towards you because of that guilt then we have the ten of cups yes so i honestly feel that this person does see it as a like a huge mistake um with that ten of cups seriously a lot of like love for you care for you like you're the person for the rest of their life uh type thing but as well because of that guilt feeling they're not able to actually express it so what is it that they are hiding for pearl number two one sorry Okay, so we also have the Six of Swords. Wait, can I put it here? Yes, I can. Okay, so we also have the Six of Swords, which I feel like that's kind of maybe what they're scared of if they tell you. Where you then just walk away. It's like, hell no. Hell to the no. Or maybe they just want to, like, pick you up and move you to a different city, different, like, relocate or something. Because, like, the King of Swords and this Six of Swords person is the same person. Like, look at that. It's the same person. So even though they're cold, I feel like they kind of want to swoop you away without telling you. And then, like, have a new start. Almost. Uh, that Two of Swords, very inflicted. Um, they know they should tell you. But at the same time, like I said, they're so scared that you walk away. Then the King of Cups, yes... A lot of feelings because the king of cups is also someone like who is like that's a lot of feelings like the king of emotions and feelings but also someone that can choose when to show emotions and when when not um anyway also the seven of cups as well as the emperor yeah with that seven of cups i feel like they are trying to get um, oh, look at that. You have the Queen of Swords at the bottom as well. So, yeah, with that Seven of Cups, I feel like there are a lot of things that they're contemplating on how to deal with this, how to handle this. But there's also ways like moving away. You know, that's not gonna help in any way. But it is a serious thing where they're like, should we just like, I don't know, move away, start over? Um because with that, I kind of feel like they just want to get it over with. Like, they just want to tell you. And then they assume that you will break up. But then, like, come back together. And I feel like they want to skip that part where they tell you. And, like, you process what happens. And then you start over. And cut straight to starting over. Um, which is not a realistic thing. Look on the situation. Uh, with that Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, I do genuinely think with that ten of cups as well that this person not just has like deep real feelings towards you but they honestly think that you guys are a match and this whatever happened here was just a stupid dumb mistake and they yeah they regret that i kind of feel like maybe that was maybe like at the beginning of the, for some of you, I feel like this is at the beginning of the relationship when they thought it wasn't as serious and then found out like, oh no, this is the real shit and then kind of regretted that. Um, but I do see that this person is very hard, working hard on themselves, trying to find balance. That two of swords just has them very conflicted. Like, should I tell them? Should I not tell them? Um, yeah, Ugh, this heavy. Like they know they fucked up. They know they did. And they also know. Because yeah. But like the longer that they keep themselves. And you as well. In this state. The the more it's going to hurt, hurt them. Hurt you. Hurt this relationship. They should just. Like pull the bandaid off. Like quickly. Because the longer it will fester. You know. The longer 
time goes by, the more toxic, toxic it becomes. Um, but this person is just so scared. So scared. Um, let me take a look at some oracle for you guys. Um, I kind of want to get these. I kind of want to get these. So what is it that they are hiding for pile number one or not telling pile number one? What is it that they're not telling pile number one? Okay, I kind of want the other ones. <laughs> I'm just, I, I kind of want this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what are they not telling pile number one? What are they hiding from pile number one? Uh, so we have reconciliation. So for some of you, I feel like it can also be with someone from their past, maybe an ex or uh, like a friend that you already kind of felt like that's not just a friend. They are trying to, you know, um, and I feel like they are hiding that they were in contact with that person. Reconciliation, got back into contact with someone. So what is it that they're not telling? Like... If they, I don't, so this can also be that feeling of cheating where they might not literally have cheated with this person, but like having back in contact, they know that it would make you feel like they cheated on you. It doesn't have to be like the physical act of having sex with another person. Like I said, it can also be just a reconciliation that they know that that would piss you off, that that would make you feel uncomfortable. Not right, not like the only person. Like, it wouldn't make you feel like that Ten of Cups where it's like, oh, this person is all in on me if they did. And now that they did, like, that's kind of where they're hiding. A new beginning. They are hiding a new beginning. That can also be like that new beginning for you if they just clear cleared this up uh, with the new beginning. And for others where I feel like it is like a cheating thing, that's you know so what is it that pile number one person is not telling pile number one or hiding from them even what is it that they're not telling or hiding dreams what is it that they're not telling pile number one and you have finding so I feel like for some of you as well, this person, like, you know, if you, I feel like for people who have been in like a long relationship, this is like, you know, you never are the same person at like four years in that you were like the first week. Um, like you grow, you change, you, you develop. And I feel like this person as well now found like new dreams to pursue, a new new parts of themselves that they want to dig deeper in a little bit, like find out a little bit. Um, and I kind of feel like for some of you, I feel like this person doesn't know how to communicate that with you, where it's like, I feel like for some of you, they kind of want a fresh start with you. Like, go on this new adventure. Maybe they have been, like, low-key trying to tell you that. Like, oh, look, I saw that this and this. They do, I don't know, pottery or something. We should try it out. And then if you don't react, like, enthusiastic or, like, are you kidding me? Pottery. Seriously. Um, that kind of, you know gives them that energy i'm not saying that it is the right way of how to deal with this because it's not but i can also understand that that can be something that kind of you know pulls you to apart and makes this person look for that reaction that they wanted from someone else um like i said i am not conducting cheating whatsoever because they should have just communicated like I feel like so many problems can be resolved just by communicating and like there's no communicating going on. 
because I feel like kind of like maybe even a wall up a little bit. Um, I kind of want to get some more for this. Um, so I want to get these messages here. A couple. So, what is it that they are not telling pal number one? What are they not telling pal number one? Or what are they hiding? What are they not telling pal number one or hiding? I wish I had treated you better. What are they hiding or not telling pal number one? What are they not telling pal number one? I want to be more than friends. For like people who have been in like a long-term relationship, I feel like this person just feels like it. it's right now just like a friendship and they want that more back, like that passion, um, get to know each other again. Um, you know, even though like you might have the feeling like I didn't change, like of course you did, of course you did, especially if it's like a long period of time. Like you change every day just because you don't do not see it doesn't mean that you didn't change, um, and you know get to know new hobbies or new interests or you know if you've been curious about trying something out go try that out uh, with this person try to find that passion again in each other's eyes because um, I feel like this person like I said I do feel like this person sees you as their long term committed. Um, but they're just a bit also a bit sad that I feel like they feel guilty for like opening that door for that unexpected visitor as well because I feel like that's a bit where because of course it's not just their fault you know things happen for a reason um you know that they are not giving anyone I don't think like there's any fault here like it's understandable from both sides where then they go, like, because they do see you as the committed partner, but at the same time, I feel like they feel that there was something missing, and then they found it in this unexpected visitor. They were not planning for it. They were just, you know, if if you're missing something, you unconsciously go look for that all around you. Um, and that's kind of what I feel like happened here. Um but I still see the very huge desire for them to refine that with you. Because I feel like now that they found that, they're like, okay, this is what I want. But I want that for from my partner. Because um, I feel like it might also be where they thought that they couldn't have that. And then when they did, they were like, oh, shit, I can. But I want it with, this, with the partner that I'm at right now. Um... So that's kind of where I also see a lot of the confliction like happening from. Where it's like I should tell this person because it is a long term and I should have faith. But at the same time scared that if they do that they'll lose you. As well as that they might misread the connection. You speak to me through music as well. Yeah. So I feel like they might listen to a lot of music now or try to find the answers in music or trying to find like what is the next move that they should make through music or get inspired, uh, you know. Like this person feels awful. Like as they should, of course. Um, but, you know. That, like, I can understand, I can see both sides. Like, this energy just feels so heartbreaking. Like, desperate. And, like, no idea of what to, like, what move to make. So I kind of want to get, like, some advice for you. I know 
this is not a situation which you should like solve you know uh, but i do kind of want to get because this is for you as well heavy to have a partner that like feels like this as well um so i kind of want to get some advice for you on this uh as well see what you know where you are at uh, so some advice for pile number one on this situation yeah so we have the three of swords which i get which is like you know being stabbed in the heart um we also have the nine of cups and then also the nine of wands so i feel like you have this feeling where i think you already noticed this like this change you know i feel like a partner sees more than the other one actually thinks that they do i feel like you already kind of knew uh i already felt that with the rest as well because they acted so differently um at the same time with the nine of cups i also feel that you still love this person like so much like yes you messed up because here was the ten of cups here's the nine of cups so i feel like it just took away one cup but there are still nine cups left. So I do feel that there's still a lot of like feelings. But I feel like you also became a bit defensive. Like putting up a wall just because you didn't want to get hurt even more uh, by this person. Which is like I get that. I totally get that. Um, but I can't like my wish or my hope is for you to see how much they are hurting and regretting. And still wanting this to work with you and understand that this was a mistake that's never going to happen again because they want to get that what they were missing with you work on that uh you know um just like for you to get that as well and then understand that it is okay to lower your walls a little bit and have an open discussion and show them this three of swords as well because they do need to see it how much they hurt you uh by doing that like as well as you need to understand how hurt they are because of it you, they need to understand how hurt you got because of it um simple advice for pal number one then we have the world so i feel like with that world there needs to be like it's time for an ending and it doesn't mean the ending of the entire relationship, of course, if that is what you feel like uh, is good for you, is right for you, then that is like the end of the relationship. But I feel like it can also just be the end of this situation. Like I said, the longer this continues, the longer it you allow it to fester and to, you know, get bigger uh, where it is like unstoppable, you know. So some advice. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, okay. I kind of want to say that, like, idea that I got in the beginning a little bit where I said, like, go do something uh, like a hobby together. Go do, explore some new things a little bit. That might also work. Um, and for some of you, I feel like that Eight of Pentacles is also a little bit work on your communication skills. You as well. Not just the other person, you as well. Make sure you create the environment that this person feels comfortable uh, coming to you and talk to you because you will not yell at them. You will calmly listen to them, say like listen to what they have to say. Give them a chance to explain everything to for them to tell you, you know how they feel and stuff. Um, just so you have that same energy and time as well after that. But that needs a little bit of work as well. Try to create the environment that you want so that they can come forward and actually you know um come forward towards you and then the six of ones and the six of ones talks about victory so i feel like whatever the outcome is if you want them to tell you and work on your communication skills i feel like that will be victorious as well as if you want to overcome this work on this together like you will be victorious and then you have the queen of swords again so I definitely feel that you are that Queen of Swords. And then a Ten of Cups underneath that. Because the, the Queen of Swords can also be very like an Ice Queen. 
you know, you hurt me, that's never going to happen, you know. And that's kind of like end of relationship attitude. But the Queen of Wands is also very intelligent. She can also be a queen that, like, listens to the information that she gets and then, you know, logically think, okay, what else is there to do? And then with that Ten of Cups underneath that, that is a long-term happy relationship. Again, with here as well, where I do see the potential that you guys can come through with this, can get over this. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles underneath that, which is the happy ever after long life. Not just emotionally, but actually physically into the real world. And then you have the Five Swords at the bottom, where I kind of want to use it as a warning sign that self-sabotaging is a thing that can happen here. So I think I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done. A lot of talking, like not just this person, like you as well. You know, even though it might not seem fair to you now because they cheated, but like, that's just ego speaking. Like, what is good for you for the long run? Have a conversation with this person or just cut him off? And that's something for you to decide. Uh, but I feel real, real potential of you guys working this out, get over it, even though it's going to be hard, it's going to be tough. Uh, like this cycle that you're in right now just needs an ending. It needs an ending. Whether that is working on it together for that new start or have a complete ending with this person. Um, either way, work on your communication as well uh, and be the person where the other person feels comfortable enough to come forward uh, and have an honest conversation with you. So, at the, like no matter what i feel like you like you got this like this is it's gonna be tough it is gonna be tough i'm not gonna lie to you and say no it's fine um but i feel like in the end it will make you stronger so yeah i kind of want to leave it here for you guys i hope it resonated i hope it was helpful uh let me know in the comments down below i would love to read about this um uh, uh, about you um yeah in the meantime, I just hope you're having a wonderful day. Go kick ass. Uh, I got you. And in the meantime, see you in the next reading. Hi, pile number two. So if you chose card number 45 with sad embrace, then this is going to be your reading today. Uh, I already, while shuffling, felt a little bit of like maybe missing you or something along the lines of that. But let's just... Get into the tarot and see what comes up for you. So pile number two, what are they hiding from you, not telling you, uh, not being straight up with you? What are they not telling, pile number two? So we have the three of ones, okay? What are they not telling, pile number two? What are they hiding from pile number two? We have the Six of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay, for some of you, I feel like this person is not telling you that they are looking... For, I feel like... Okay, for some of you, this person is like looking into maybe like studying abroad or doing like charity work abroad or moving away a little bit. Um, like space in between. But at the same time, it is like... It's going to be such a good opportunity for them and they kind of want to go for it, take control of their life. Um, let me see what more. What else? What are they not telling pile number two? What are they not telling pile number two? So we have the temperance, just like finding middle ground. I feel like they have been trying to find a way of telling you, uh, but are still very much like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to tell pile number two that I want to, I don't know, do something that I feel like they may, might even never have talked to anyone about. Um, you also have the King of Cups as well as which one flipped over. That's the Seven of Wands as well. Let's see, what else? What is pound number two's person not telling them? 
what are they not telling them? So we have the Four of Wands, which to me is kind of getting a feeling of like, the Four of Wands talks about celebration and home, but within this card, I feel like it's kind of where they're like away from each other, away from each other's home, and he has like a portal so he can see her. So I feel like it is like distance, because she is like holding her hand out towards him, but he is not like stepping closer, not holding out in his hand as well. I feel like like distance, like physical distance uh, with this. And maybe they're a bit afraid that that move will like uh, pull you guys apart from each other. Then you also have the King of Swords. So with that King of Swords, I feel like they just want to do this because it feels right. or like, like To them, it's a logical decision. Like this opportunity is one of a lifetime. I shouldn't get emotions involved in this. Uh, but with that King of Cups, like there are a lot of emotions involved. They, they just don't want their emotions to lead this decision that they feel like they have to make. Um, you also have the Hierophant. So that's like things should happen in a certain order. And maybe that's also what's messing them up. Where like the things that should happen next isn't this. But now this came along and they're kind of confused. And then you have the Four of Cups. Yes, yeah, so very, very a lot of time contemplating. And then at the, at the bottom of the deck you have the world. And the world energy is like the end of a cycle. Uh, the start of a new one. Um, closing out an old cycle, starting this new adventure, this new thing. I feel like they are, yeah, like I said, I feel like they are afraid that the ending of this cycle is also going to be the ending of this uh, connection or relationship that they have with you. Um, which just makes it, with that Four of Cups, is really some someone really contemplating, feeling very conflicted between their heart and their mind with that king of swords i feel like that king of swords just knows like this is the the step you should be taking and i kind of feel like that is the step that they the decision that they are gonna make but they're so scared of losing you by doing that like i feel like a long distance thing i think this person thinks that they cannot do it so then the other option is to lose you um and that's also something that they do not want to happen. But they're so... With that Three of Wands and that Four of Cups, I feel like both the same similar, like, energy. Where it's like... Like, the Three of Wands is going on an adventure. It's about, like, broadening the horizon, going further than they thought, like, traveling. But he is, doesn't look happy about it. And then that Four of Cups... Also with like the emotions and stuff, like they're just both, they don't know what, what, like, yeah, like, oh, feel so stuck in their mind. And I feel like also the longer they keep this from you, the harder it is going to be, you know, to actually maintain or I feel like this person is trying to find a perfect solution. For everyone involved and that's kind of where they're tr they're trying to find the middle path but i don't think there is one it's either to go or to stay uh there is no or i i think at least this person doesn't see that middle path also because they haven't had anyone to bounce off ideas off so i feel like if they would just talk to you about this there might be other ideas that come along can come but yeah because it can also be like, I don't know, a language study or school in like, I don't know, abroad, a semester or something. So you also have boundaries. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting that as like a boundaries like for like country, you know, going over boundaries, going uh, beyond boundaries. Um It might also be like your boundaries that they're kind of scared of. Where it's like you made it abundantly clear 
what it is that you do and do not want from this connection and they're like okay but if i do this then i would be overstepping this person's boundaries then you have empowerment okay the neighbors are making a lot of noise so the neighbors are like remodeling the house and they are making enormously a lot of like noise so if you hear that i'm sorry uh but they're just like you know doing their job anyway empowerment Okay, what else are they not telling you? Home. Okay, so with that Four of Wands as well, that's also, like, has, to me, like, the Four of Wands has, like, a, all the cards have, like, a, how do you say, a word I associate with, and the Four of Wands is also home to me. So that might also be where they maybe do not feel at home where they are right now and feel like they need to go find that feeling of home and it can be like a physical place it doesn't have to mean that it's like you know some people are like my home is when i'm with you wherever you are that's where my home is i feel like that's just not the case with this person where it's like no if he need this person needs a physical place and they're not feeling that right now um doesn't like i said does not mean like it can be that that also feels like that's not with you uh but i feel like it's just like a place and then you have compassion with that like a world a world in their hands so again i feel like they are just looking for that place need to understand where it is that they're coming from maybe you know how you have asian like okay i have friends that are like asian american and then they at some time in their life they like i have a couple of friends and they all expressed having this feeling of wanting to find like that asian part of them because they grew up in america they do not like they didn't feel quite at home in america and so they feel like they want to then go to their asian side of the heritage and try to find that piece of home um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling here um, with this person where it's like they never really felt at home or at ease or that they belonged and they are desperately not desperately but like trying to find that feeling like maybe it's over here maybe it's over there um, and I feel like this situation from your side I feel like they are just asking for compassion from your side to understand where it is that they're coming from, that it is to make them stronger, that they're trying to find that empowerment, that that self-assurance, that knowing who they are. Um, and go look for that. Go look for that house. Because home here is a house. It is a place. It, there is no person. So it's not that they're looking a, for a home in a person. They are literally looking for a home. Um, where they feel at ease. Where they feel at home. Um, and that's searching i feel like yeah that's a little bit where they're hiding that from you maybe they did talk a little bit about it with you but not to the extent of how much it is um maybe because they do not want to feel weak or whatever that reasoning is for them um let me get some last messages from this what are they hiding and after that i kind of want to get some advice for you guys on this situation so what is it that palm or two person is not telling them so we have finding out the truth crushed me so i feel like that might not even be about you I feel like this is more like for you to understand like when they found out this information like it devastated them it can be with you but i know i was a distraction from your pain and i want one more what is it that they are not telling power number two what is it that they are not telling power number two and we have i wish things could be different That's kind of where I feel with that temperance, where he's trying to find, this person's trying to find like this middle ground, wishing things could be different, but knowing that this is that pull that they're feeling. Um, 
I feel like I know I was a distraction from your pain resonates differently for uh, some of you. Because I feel like, okay, when this one came out and then this one, I kind of felt for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, maybe you cheated on this person and this person kind of felt crushed and then felt the need of trying to find their new home. Um, like, who am I without this person as well? And wishing things could be different in that way. Like, But I feel like that's just some of you. For others of you, I feel like when they found out, maybe like it can also be like adoption. For I don't know why that keeps coming back, but I feel like I need to say that because it's not going to be for all of you. It's just going to be for like one or two of you. Where it's like the other person that might have been adopted and they found out and they were like crushed, and now they're trying to find that heritage, trying to find the bio biological parents, going for that search. Um, Yeah, but that's only for some of you. But uh, I kind of want to get some last advice for you guys on this situation. Um, just, you know, to make it a little bit complete. We've got this person's, like, what's going on? What are they hiding, not telling you? I kind of want to get, okay, how can you support this person or support yourself? Or how should you, you know, uh, have a stance on this yourself? So, some advice and guidance for pile number two. Some advice and guidance for pile number two. Okay, that's a whole lot. Okay, we have the three of pentacles. Okay, nice. Nice. And we have the four. And we have the nine of cups and the king of cups. So, I see a lot of support. I feel like you are someone that really wants to support this person through it all. Um, three of pentacles is about working together. I feel like you... Because I feel like there might be something that you kind of or that this person kind of told you and then never talked about it and kind of wanted hidden. It's like you going to them and it's like, are you sure you don't want to go look for your home, that home feeling or whatever it is for them uh, that they told you? Like you can, you know, express your support, your love still for this person and kind of the full energy of let's just go. Let's just see. Let's just go experience, see how it is. And then figure it out on the road. Because um, with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like you make a great team together. So, some advice and guidance for pile number two. So, we have the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So, you guys have just a strong connection. This is awesome. A strong connection. Also, can be about making a choice as well. But the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles is you guys got your shit in order. You can do this together. Um, for some of you, I kind of want to say quit your job and like dive into this. Because um, it is like with the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, like your heart is in it. Materialistic wise, you can do this with like money and stuff. Uh, and you have the star underneath of that. So that's like good hope. Beautiful, beautiful energy of good hope, good fortune. Um... So I love this, like that this person also has like you, you know, in their corner where you're very supportive, you're loving, you're all in for it. And I feel like this person is just feeling a bit sad about what if it goes wrong. And then that's like the full energy with you where it's like, no, let's just let we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I trust you. You trust me. Let's just dive into this. Get this shit done. Uh, and I want to do this with you. So I love that. So I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. Please let me know in the comments down below if it did. Uh, also let me know if there's anything that you would like to see me ask next. And I will take a look at that for you as well. In the meantime, I just hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number three. So if you chose card number 34 with this spark, then this is going to be your reading today. So today we're going to be looking at the question, what is it that they are not telling you? What are they hiding? Uh, just take a look at like what's going on with them. Um, it's just, just, yeah, let's just get into it. So what is it that they are not telling pile number three? Or what is it that they are hiding from pile number three? 
So we have the King of Cups as well as the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. So what are they not telling pile number three? What are they hiding from them? We have the six of pentacles. What are they hiding and not telling pile number three? We have the two of pentacles as well as the full energy. And here we have the nine of pentacles. Okay. What are they not telling pile number three and what are they hiding from them? Okay, okay, that went everywhere. We have the five of pentacles. What is it that they are not telling pile number three? What are they hiding from them? Okay, so we have the temperance as well as the three of swords. And at the bottom, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. Let's see if I can get everything a bit better in frame for you guys. So for some of you, I feel like this person got like a new work opportunity. Um... Or maybe they felt like a change is needed. Like, I feel like something happened for them. And that kind of felt like destiny. Or felt like um, the universe is throwing that in their path uh, to go at. Um, the Three of Swords is kind of where I'm like... A bit messing up because the three of swords talk about someone being very hurt very like stabbed in the heart like pain heart ripping apart pain but at the same time like there's no one here so i feel like they kind of fled a little bit from their pain not wanting to deal with it not wanting to go over like let the windows open let everything fly out um that five of pentacles I also noticed that they are also walking away. I feel like maybe they're like walking away trying to find what it is that they have been missing. Maybe it's like the spark that is missing. So you've got that spark card. Um, with that two of pentacles and the temperance, I feel like this person is in dire need of like balance. Trying to find middle ground. Trying to find something that's not like an extreme um the full energy they are going at this with just this feeling of let's just see where this goes i just want to go on this adventure because i feel like i need it because that's what the universe is like throwing at me i should follow that feeling and just enjoy myself doing that um again for me it's kind of like why are they hiding that Because initially, with like Spark, I kind of felt like they were hiding the Spark that they feel for you. But now I'm just like... Because maybe I feel like it's like two two groups where like one of you... I kind of felt that initially, but now I'm getting more so of like trying to find that Spark again, but like somewhere else. Let me get like a sip of water. <laughs> Let me contemplate it for a little bit. Is this a little bit confusing to me? It's with that seven of one. Seven of one is like rapid action, rapid movement, but I also feel that it's like going away. It's like give me like feelings of like a sinking ship of like emotions new opportunities because for some of like i said for some of you i feel like maybe new work opportunities that they're trying to hide trying to find that spark again in their work maybe let me get some oracle to hopefully clarify 
the nine of wands is someone that's very comfortable so i do feel like for for the pre-wear set like it could be like them wanting new work or something they also understand that they are comfortable they shouldn't have to like what they do right now is what is keeping them comfortable in that state of like making enough money having a house a car you know all that materialistic stuff stuff but also like i feel like they maybe are a little bit bored bored of their job wanting a new exciting adventure i feel like they feel like it's timing as well um i just don't understand why that walking away is then like why i like i don't understand let me put it like this i don't understand if it's like work related and stuff like that why would they hide that from you but maybe that's just my you know me projecting my emotions and logical thinking on this where it's like hmm. anyway so what is it that they are hiding so the one that flipped out i kind of want to add here so that was this one transformation so yeah either way if it's like for work or personal or whatever it is that they like kind of wanting that new start because that i'm okay i'm getting more and more sure it's like about work or for the multiple of you uh, with that ace of pentacles as well where it's like they just want like a new work opportunity transform into something new get that spark back for work because i feel like work for them is very important for their maybe even like identity and stuff and this is just like transformation of moving away from that so what is it that they are hiding for pile number three fertility new ideas new I feel like the the new energy that they have for trying something new is kind of what they're hiding from you. Where they really feel that. Where it's like, okay, it is time. I want to get these ideas out of my head. Maybe start even start like a, their own business. Charity work. We have empowerment. Yeah, they're hiding that. And then we have confidence. So what are they hiding like confidence that's wow okay they're hiding their confidence that they're because i feel like oh and at the bottom you have career so definitely career i feel like they are kind of hiding that for you as well as the confidence because i feel like they might i don't know why i'm getting that they're like scared that you will judge them for it because they've got the confidence and they are like transforming into a new person wanting this new adventure uh going for it feeling empowered feeling confident but then yeah to me it's just like why would they hide that from you isn't that a good thing yes it probably will not make as much money yes it probably will not give them like status with the with that like job title but still I feel like they feel it as well that this transformation is something that has been they have been working towards for a long time and now it's here and it's like mm, it's time but there that's the only thing like here with all the energy i'm like oh good for you go for it go figure it out um but why they do not like tell you that's where i'm a bit hmm. but we'll look into that in a little bit because the three of swords can be someone very hurt as well so some last messages what are they not telling power number three what are they hiding from power number three the timing just wasn't right for us so maybe that's where it's like okay maybe it's just the wrong timing to bring this up uh i will wait for a sign from you okay so like yeah i feel like they think it's not the right timing even though it feels like it is but they are like willing to wait for a better timing where because maybe there's something going on with you that now they're like okay this is not the timing for me to bring this up when this my other half or this person is going through this stuff and then i'll just wait for them to you know be ready to this you are the best thing in my life so yes they want to i feel like it's more of like sacrifice where it's like you know i will wait to start this until like you basically 
are in a place where you where it's okay for them to uh, move forward with this idea like to me this is just love because even though it's like it's in uh, past tense like you were the best thing in my life I do feel that that's still the case like they will uh, put themselves on hold um, even though I can okay so right now we're gonna look into your advice but I kind of feel like you shouldn't uh, where I'm more upset with you if like you are a person that's like no no me first then I feel like who are you to let them wait their transformation they need to grow as as much as you do they need as much of time and why do you have to take turns to do so uh, but that's just me, you know, the, the, I don't mean to be rude. Uh, that's just kind of what I'm feeling. Uh, but let me just get into your energy. So some advice and guidance for you on this situation. Because this can also just be a person that's just very insecure. And you are the person that kind of is more, not like in control, but more uh, assertive, you know. Can push them, can uh, be that like support system that they need. Uh, to get this through uh, and if you going through tough things and this person is just you know what this person has my back always is always pushing me to become better uh, is a teammate I should give this person some space and room to now figure it out whatever they're going through like that I can also see happening um, but let me just take a look at some advice and guidance for you guys so for pile number three, some advice and guidance. The Ace of Pentacles. So it, it like like they got the Ace, you also got the Ace. So it might also be that you guys, I don't know, work together on this. We'll work together on this. Um, and you, oh, oh, okay, that went to the ground. Let me get it. So that's the Nine of Wands. Okay, I feel like for the people who are that person, the very assertive uh, part of this couple, let's put it like that, um, be aware that you can be a bit defensive. Like if they come with this idea and they come across as not that confident, uh, don't shoot it down. Don't you like, oh no, that's not happening. You also have the two of pentacles. And then you also have the seven of cups. So I do feel that you guys are on the same page. When it comes to that, with that Ace of Pentacles, that Two of Pentacles. So it is a new thing, um, a new adventure that maybe you are both going through or gonna do work together. Uh, that Two of Pentacles on both sides, I feel like you both understand that there needs to be a new balance then. If you go work together, there is going to be a new dynamic. So there is a need for like a, a good balance. Uh, and I see, but like both of you see it as that's something that you need to work on then. Like you understand that that's going to make a difference in your uh, relationship with this person. You also have the shadow side and the magician. So it is something that you have been manifesting as well. There is a little bit of like ego. Make sure that your ego is check in check. Um, look at it from a realistic point of view. Don't come with like arguments just to argue um be realistic about it and then you have the knight of swords at the bottom as well which is just like going for that going for what it is that you want and look for and want to achieve i feel like you are like a pit bull you are this person's pit bull like you want this happening okay let me jump in let me help you let me assist you let me let us find this balance again together and work on this and go for it um and that's kind of where the ego can come in where you need to keep that in check that's like no no it's not just you that did this you did this together and it's not just you that without you this person would never come as far as they did that's bullshit that's your ego talking um with that magician like i said beautiful energy of manifesting what it is that you both have in mind like going for it going all in um be open for their ideas give them space not just not take the lead in this let them have that 
and have an honest conversation about it, that you are also excited about it. And try to keep that balance again. Try to refine that balance. Try to find that spark as well. Uh, how to keep that spark between the two of you uh, as well. So yeah, I kind of want to leave it here for you guys. If it resonated, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read about it. Um, as well as if there is anything that you would like to see me ask next, leave it down in the comments as well. And in the meantime, I just hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys again in the next reading.